and welcome to this construction class. My name is Oluwa Tombi Blessing Olalekon, the founder of Michael Tech. Alright, for today we will be considering the problem as displayed on the screen. We have to produce that spanner as it is on the screen. Okay, yeah, before I proceed, I'm going to actually switch off these grid lines on the screen. I don't like them yet. So I click that, you can see clear. So then I'm going to actually uh, return this back to draft annotation if your own is here no wala so before i draw i need to set my parameters coming down here so to what to drawing utilities then to what to units so this to a decimal place is okay this clockwise this to millimeters direction towards the notes okay and what's okay so now we have this as displayed on the screen right there okay so to start this very drawing i'm going to pick my line picking my line okay so from this i can start my line from from this junction okay so i'm going to click on uh let me extend it very well for it to be long very well, okay so what i'm actually after is i'm going to click on this other area you can see the highlighted area 34.6 so see the angle where after at six degrees so that's where i actually need to so i'm clicking on tab straight away on tab so on my tab i'm clicking on angle 17 17 degree then what enter so you can see then what escape so this line is at angle what angle 17 degrees to the horizontal as it is it is at what angle 17 degrees so after doing that i'm going to what pick my normal line a straight line okay i'm going to switch on my auto this time around f8 so my auto is switch on okay so from any point okay from any point i can actually draw this right here okay let me draw this here like this then what escape now i'm going to click on what offset offset of what six enter okay now i'm going to offset this line at a distance of six that is it right here okay so escape picking my line okay yeah uh, in alignment to this i am producing uh, a horizontal line like this okay like that enter okay so now as it is now as it is i'm going to pick offset with my offset at a distance of 2 mm then what enter i'm going to offset this line upward you see i'm offsetting it upward as you can see on the screen so that is it right there that is it right there then what escape now towards the left hand side the mouth of our spanner there is what is 17 so 17 divided by 2 is what that is 8.5 so i'm going to pick offset offset of what 8.5 enter then click this line upwards and click this line downwards offset it upwards and downwards as displayed on the screen right there then what escape all right so after doing that after doing that i'm going to actually pick come to my arc here arc I'm going to pick center, start, and end. Center, start, and end. So I'm picking that. So picking that right now, I'm going to switch off my auto. Press F8 to switch off my auto. So I'm going to come to this midpoint here, the midpoint of this line here. Okay, yeah. So I'm sitting right here, like this. Okay, so then uh, extending my line at radius of what? Radius of. Uh, 18 as displayed on the screen we have arc of radius 13 right there enter i would i press my ctr and my control so i draw this arc okay so this arc cut across this line and this line so i can actually pick my trim now and trim this out and trim this out for now okay then what enter so what is the next procedure what is the next procedure okay i'm going to come here and pick a uh, circle center diameter so we're having uh, sec, uh diameter 32 thickness of five so by working the diameter 32 with that diameter 32 i am coming to where this offset horizontal line of two intersect this vertical line of six or set of six which is what this junction so at this junction please take note okay at this junction 
ensure you zoom it out this is very junction okay i place my circle circle of diameter what diameter 32 all right diameter 32 then what enter as you can see on the screen here enter so i can click on extend i'm extending this line okay to touch the circle then i'm extending this to touch the circle so after that i can click on what trim so with my trim i can trim this this and this off okay likewise i can trim this take this off i don't need it any longer I think the whole of this i don't need that i don't need that okay yeah let's have it this way for now right for now okay so then what escape then escape so now we are told that the distance from this area here this very center here okay yeah the distance from this point here towards our right hand side is mark of 110 so i'm picking my offset you see i pick offset i pick what 110 enter i offset this line okay towards this area so that is it right there as you can see on the screen so then i'm going to actually click on extend i'm extending this very line to go and meet that line over there can you see extend then enter so do you see that all right so as it is now yeah as it is now so i can actually extend this line like this right there escape okay now i'm picking offset offset of what two enter so which line am i offsetting this same horizontal line so i'm offsetting it towards the top take note i am offsetting this horizontal line towards what towards the top so this same line like this okay towards the top offset of two enter okay so after doing that after doing that what is the next procedure i can elongate this very line make it tall like okay let me switch on my f8 okay yeah make it tall like that so i'm going to click offset also offset offset of what six then what enter so i'm picking this line then towards my right hand side i'm offsetting it that's it of six okay then what enter so what is the next procedure now the next procedure i am actually going to pick uh, a line okay from this junction okay uh my f8 auto mode can you see that angle it is giving me angle for five degree do you see that angle for five let me extend this line where angle for five degree but what i actually need here is should be more than 45 degrees so i'm clicking on what tab to that angle i'm having angle what angle 17 that is what i actually need then what enter so this line we are saying is at what angle 17 now and we're told that the mouth yeah the distance of that spanner mouth there is what is 13 13 divided by 2 is what 6.5 so i'm picking offset at 6.5 offset 6.5 enter then i pick this line towards the top and what towards the bottom as you can see then what enter so after doing that after doing that so i'm having radius 9 so i'm coming right here so center start end i pick okay right at this junction here do you see that yeah right at this junction here okay so coming down here yeah let me stay somewhere right here like this okay i'll click on what mm, radius 9 enter then what this is my control i draw this as you can see on the screen okay I draw that as you can see on the screen so what's the next procedure i'm going to do i'm going to come to this area pick my extend with my extend i extend this line here okay touching the arc this one also ensure it's what it touches the arc so after that i come to the trim with my trim i can trim this 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 okay this 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 off for now okay trimming those ones off what is the next procedure what is the next procedure i'm going to actually come here pick my circle center diameter with center diameter see where i'm actually going to stay please 
open your eyes clearly and see so i'm having diameter 29 right here so i'm going to come right here do you see do you see see i'm picking up i'm picking this yeah right here do you see that i'm picking that as diameter what diameter 29 okay then what enter diameter 29 then what then enter after doing that with my trim command i can take this out of the picture like this now yeah i think i can take them out since i don't need them any longer okay yeah i can take them out that's it all right i can take those lines out yeah including we don't need this one that's at the top here we don't need it okay yeah so yeah for now now the joint so you feel that that joint okay the handle yeah where you can refer to as the handle is actually uh, a width of what of 11 so i'm going to pick my offset at this of what 11 divided by 2 is what 5.5 5.5 then what enter so this line i'm setting this towards the top and was towards the bottom all right then enter so what is the next procedure so let's start from the left hand side you are told that the radius of the arc joining this area here is radius 47 radius 47 okay so how do we do that how do we do that how do we sort that out i'm going to pick offset i'm picking 47 offset of what 47 enter so i'm picking this line yeah this line towards the top at 47 then this one towards the bottom at what 47 that's it okay then enter all right so this radio 47 now is laying on this principle of tangency we are applying the principle of external arc yeah so if this is diameter 32 that will be radius what radius 16 that will be 47 plus 16 47 plus 16 is what that is 63 so I'm going to come right here now. I'm going to come right here. Radius 63. Become here center and what? Okay, I can use my arc actually. Let me use arc. Center start end. Okay, with that center start end, I'm going to come uh, right here. See, see, see where I place it to. See this midpoint, not on this inclined line up. Maybe I should. I'm coming. Maybe let me even actually let me remove this so that you won't get confused. Let me delete that. <laughs> so picking my arc center start end. Okay, center start end right here. Yeah, do you see where I place my compass? Uh, where I place my puzzle right here. Okay, clicking right there. Okay. Yeah. So at radius sixty three. 63 enter so i draw this i draw this that is at 63 so take note my arc cut across right here and what and right here so the next thing is what i'm going to pick this same center start and end okay come to this first intersection right here do you see at mark of what 47 enter then i what you see that i draw touching it right here okay so picking it also coming to this junction here mark of what 47 enter can you see that present my city red. i what i draw so i'm going to pick my trim command as it is yeah when you trim this out i don't need this any longer i don't need you i don't need this so and the yellow of this this and this delete okay yeah we are almost there so coming to this other side now yeah the radius here is radius what radius 23 i'm going to pick what offset at what 23 enter this line here towards the top okay then this line here offset at 23 towards the bottom i have it in that order so diameter 29 
radius will be what that's radius 14.5 14.5 plus 23 that's 37.5 37.5 so uh oh i've made a mistake i've made a mistake i shouldn't have deleted this vertical line here all right i shouldn't have i shouldn't have i shouldn't have so i'm going to click offset first of all offset of what uh one ten enter this line yeah this line one ten so to that area so now i'm going to click on extend extending this down there so i have my words i have the points i actually need so back to where we were before so we said radius of 29 is what 14.5 14.5 plus 23 that is 37.5 so with radius at 7.5 my arc center starts and so right at this midpoint here that is 7.5 okay so let me come right here and click press what 37.5 enter so with my ctrl on i draw this arc like this so drawing our back it's have intersection here intersection here so i will come back here and pick my arc at radius what sitting right at this junction okay at radius 20 if i'm not mistaken yeah radius 23 enter and i'm going to with my ctrl on i have it this way over there so picking my arc also coming to this intersection here okay as radius 23 also enter then i would i'm having this right here at the bottom so next is what i'm going to click on my words trim so i'm trimming this off okay this 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 now what this is going to be off this out 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 okay yeah out i can take the whole of this off straight away straight away yeah straight away i don't need you any longer okay okay all right so that is the reproduction of the problem on the screen yeah a two-end spanner applying the principle of code tangency and drawing it out on the software autocad all right once again we've come to the end of this particular tutorial video my name remains Oluwa Tumbi blessing or Lalekon, the founder of michael Tech. kindly ensure you subscribe like and comment to this youtube channel and also refer it to your friends who might be in need of it thank you